most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Well, more warm air is going to be in place here over the next couple of days, but we do have some fog settling in as well. We don't see uh, much just yet over Mifflintown, but it's there. I believe they are reporting some fog. Yeah, they are. And just a little bit ago, temperatures were in the 50s, dew points in the 50s as well. But the fog uh, is the reason why I wanted to show you this. And you can see it here on the current visibility chart. In fact, Reedsville, no visibility whatsoever. State College, pretty foggy as well, uh, below a mile. We're going to start to see that develop locally too. And we mentioned that over the next couple of mornings, uh, we could start with some of that fog around. So keep that in mind. Uh, high pressure is in control, but we're getting a little bit of an east flow. The clouds are low, so the satellite not going to pick them up. It is clear out there, but that fog is going to be ground based as we moved in, into this morning and tomorrow. Temperatures are warmer. Uh, they uh, have warmed into the 50s here and even low 60s still showing up. Philly at 63, Harrisburg at 61. We've got York at 54, Chambersburg at 56. It's still comfortable. It's not humid at all um, with dew points still fairly low in the 50s, but uh, it is a little bit warmer than it has been and we're going to be a little more summer like now heading into the weekend. We did hit 84 yesterday, but when you factor in the morning lows, it's still below average, so it feels pretty nice in the mornings, but it's above average in the afternoons with highs in the mid 80s. No rain yesterday, and of course that continues to show as we look at our September rain numbers. This number hasn't moved, right? We still have less than two tenths of an inch. We should now have over an inch and a half of rain and this is tightening up as well our yearly surplus. So we are going to need some rain. We still think there could be some next week, but I'm not as sold on it. We'll show you why that is as we check out Gettysburg here. Pretty quiet morning. Uh, no, uh, not a lot of people are up just yet, but this afternoon, if you're joining us early here, it's going to be another toasty one with highs in the mid 80s. This is a front that is marching through southern Canada. Won't have any bearing on us. Some of the clouds from Francine are getting as far north as Bowling Green, Kentucky and Charleston, West Virginia, but high pressure will suppress them locally as well. So 84 in Harrisburg, we've got 86 in Charleston today. This warm bubble of air that you can sort of see across the Midwest, not going to have any bearing uh, uh, here, uh, but it is starting to spread its way to the east. So we're not going to be in the 90s, but mid 80s and uh, you can see where Francine is across the southern Gulf Coast. So the fog burns off to a mostly sunny day. And then we're talking about the same thing tomorrow. Some areas of fog in the morning, they're going to burn off to some sunshine and a nice evening for Friday night football. Saturday looks good for plans, mostly sunny. It is going to be a warmer day, though. So temperatures will be in the mid 80s. Very summer like this weekend. The extended outlook does show rain looks limited here into early next week, although there are some chances for showers now by the middle part of next week. But look at this. Watch what happens here. This coastal low just doesn't start to materialize. And when it does, the, the rain looks very spotty to me. It doesn't look steady. It kind of hangs around into next weekend. But how much rain is the question? And certainly we don't want to overpromise. Tropics quickly show you Francine. Now a tropical storm still churning here across the Gulf and will get absorbed into the flow up into the Tennessee Valley here and not really move uh, eastward at all uh, as we look ahead. Here's the seven day forecast we stay warm and dry here through next week. 84 today. Tonight looks comfortable again. The overnight lows are going to be just fine in the 50s. But Allie, look at this weekend looking mighty fine temperatures in the mid 80s. Now next week we will watch the coast and we think there could be some showers. We're not seeing any heavy rain though mm -hmm. or any steady rain and it could end up just being a lot of clouds. We'll keep you posted on that next week. Thank you, Brett. We'll be right back.